Exciting for sure, and um, somehow at home I missed uh, Edinburgh, so I'm so happy to be back. Oh, in a very rapid way. Yeah, it's pretty shocking. Um, I haven't seen the final version yet, so I don't know if it if it has changed much. But yeah, um, she's playing around. You think if you are at their level, but then I decided to trust Danny because he's Danny. <laughs> you know, he know he knows what he's doing. Oh, he's the the, the battery of the whole thing. He's the charger. Yeah. Without him, I don't think it it would happen, or it would happen in that good way. Well, it's incredible to be here at the world premiere of T2. I mean, but. That was meant as a joke, as kind of like it's become the title. It was meant to be what they'd say if they had they made a, a, a sequel about themselves. Anyway, but it's extraordinary, and uh, uh, it's wonderful to be back in Edinburgh because it would have been a lot easier to do it in London, and we really insisted we wanted to do it here, you know, because the stories come out of this city, and this city helped us make it, and Glasgow helped us make the first one hugely. So it's wonderful to come back here and pay, pay due respect, and that was a lot of the instinct of making the film was actually feeling that we are, were obliged, we owed a lot to these characters and to Irving's stories and so we wanted to come and make another film and see if we could do half as well. I think it was because it's the 20 year, there was something about the 20 year period was, it felt like they changed a lot and that's a very big ingredient of the story, you know. They're so, despite their hapless nature, they're so confident. They can sort of risk anything in the first film and then they get a bit older and it's a bit di different really. I've known them all for a long time, on and off, and they're four very special guys and four very special talents. But there's something that happen extra happens to them when they combine with this material, you know. It feels pretty amazing to be at the world premiere of T2 here in Edinburgh, yeah. I'm, I'm excited. It seems like only a minute ago we were here shooting the film and here we are already about to see it, so I'm very excited, yeah. Renton's come home now. He's coming home for the first time in 20 years. So uh, he's been in uh, he's been in Amsterdam. It was brilliant to see everybody again. It was lovely. I, I, I first saw you and Bremner in the lunch queue, and then uh, Johnny Lee Miller and Bobby. And it's just it was wonderful to come back and play these guys again, and to hear their voices again, and to you know act with these guys that are like they're so important in my life. You know, we all. We all did something very amazing with Danny Boyle in the 90s, and uh, it was amazing to come back and, you know, take those characters forward again. It's overwhelming. It's an astounding premiere. Uh, I was saying that most premieres uh, have this, you know, the, the people come to them for a sort of celebrity uh, kind of buzz, but I think with this, with this premiere, there's so much cultural... Uh, emotion that is associated with this production that it's, it makes it a very unusual uh, it's, it's not it's not a geeky kind of thing it's not like a it's not like a um, science fiction film or a fantasy film or a action film it's uh, yeah, there's there's a cultural content to this that is um, kind of uh, very real and people people feel very invested in you know in a way that I've not come across before Spud's really been doing his best, uh, but it's not been easy for him. He's been struggling with addiction and uh, trying to put food on the table for his family. Um, but he's, he's gone through a lot of challenges. His horizons are very limited uh, in terms of you know what's what his options are. You know he doesn't have a hell of a lot of options. Uh, but he's he's struggled on and off with uh, addiction, and um, he's just trying to do his best and and. Uh, be a better person. It was surreal, it was tender to be with these guys again. Uh, we've, it was very precious, we felt every day that, that was one day knocked off. Uh, time was like passing too fast. You know, we've, we all really appreciated the opportunity to be together again. I think this film works on a lot more levels than the original film. Uh, it's quite profound, uh, uh, not just in terms of what these guys have been going through for 20 years but uh, also it asks like what is a story where does a story start 
what is reality? Uh, and what is the difference between these two things? Is there a difference? And yeah, I think the film really uh, delivers uh, on much more levels than I was anticipating. It's not just a yarn, it's not just a story. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a, a piece of architecture that goes beyond, uh, it goes beyond conventional uh, storytelling. Fabulous, and especially as it's in Edinburgh, you know, because I'm, I'm home and uh, this is where it all started, all the inspiration for the, the books and the, the films that originally came from. So it's great to be here, yeah. I think what happened is that you know, John had done an originally fantastic screenplay, but for, for all different reasons, we didn't really kind of push on with it. And uh, it kind of went into a bit of a limbo and kind of events caught us up. It got a bit kind of, um, you know, things you know change over the years and all that and we wanted to do a film about now rather than about kind of uh, kind of late 90s early 2000s so we had to kind of revamp the script and um, we got really serious about it about uh, two or three years ago and we've just been pushing that kind of since I think they'll love the energy and the, the, the set pieces of it, you know, the very, all these visual gags and all that kind of energy is still there from the first one. It's also got more emotional complexity and depth to it, I think, than the first one. So I, th I think it's a superior film, to be honest. It feels absolutely terrifying to be here at the premiere of T2. Well, Stick has been doing more of the same, really. He's kind of stuck in this, in this cycle of behaviour, really, which is, uh, you know, not, not the best thing, but, yeah. It was fabulous getting back together. We, um, you know, we were all have great affection for each other and, and had sort of drifted apart, really, over the years, and uh, it's just been fabulous. Not, not, just the, um, not just getting back together again, but working together again, because we all enjoyed that work experience so much that that's what it really comes down to. That's, that's the point. It's not just a reunion. You know. It's really lovely, and I don't feel too much pressure. I feel sort of the boys are really nervous, but I'm like a little, a little sort of wave hello in the film, and I feel okay. This is like my version of a school reunion, which I've never done, uh, and it felt very cosy and sweet coming back and seeing everybody again and all my stuff's with you and and it's just like he's my first screen love i adore him and it was lovely she's not changed that much she's so very direct and uh you know diane knows what she wants and uh and uh she's the success i hoped she would be the thing about train spotting is the characters were so iconic and and well drawn and uh, sort of almost cartoonish. They're so, such huge characters, and it's just nice to see them again 20 years later. Fantastic to be here at the world premiere of T2. It's unbelievable when coming in that gate there. I just cannot believe the amount of people that have turned up for this. It's just absolutely extraordinary. It's wonderful. Begby's been in prison for 20 years, um, pretty much since the last time we saw him, he's been in the nick and so he's not been up to an awful lot. Um, he comes out, obviously doesn't give much away, he'll come out. He doesn't really cope very well with the world, the world doesn't cope very well with him and uh, it's, it's a tough time for him. Fantastic, fantastic to be reunited with everyone again. I mean, it's unique, this experience, you know what, you can, uh, to do a sequel 20 years later. I mean, I, I, I've never known this to, to have ever happened before. I guess it'll probably never happen again. So to be part of that, I'm just, I'm blessed. I think they can expect a different film. I don't think it was possible to, uh, it would have been possible to make the same film again. I don't think anyone would have wanted to have made the same film again. And I don't believe the audience would have wanted to see the same film again. So it's, it's very, very different. It's much more kind of mature, probably. I mean, it's older, we're, all, we're older, <coughs> all the cast are older, Danny Boyle's 20 years older. So I think that the way we approach it is, uh, is, is kind of, is, uh, the, the, the painted with age.